the spiritual leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Spiritual Church Primate Elijah Ayodele has revealed that Nigeria will sink if Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi becomes president of Nigeria, adding that Atiku and Peter Obi will not win 2027 presidential election. <laughs> Oh, waiting, Musa Nogosi for gate. This man has come again. He said this while briefing the media at the commissioning of an ultra modern health center, care center on Friday, 16th of February 2024, in commemoration of his annual Thanksgiving program tag 21 days of unlimited praise in Lagos. Prime Minister Ayodele wants Nigerians say if Peter Obi becomes president, Nigeria will sink. Speaking for the Prime Minister, added that. Come 2027 presidential election, neither the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, nor the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, will win the election. He said Atiku is God's choice, but Nigerians will not vote for God's choice. I am saying this because I heard from God, and I am not even like other pastors who don't even stand by their ways. I say it as it is, and stand by my word. So anybody is free to criticize me, I am not bothered. Speaking on what will happen if Peter Obi becomes president, Prime Minister said there will be tribalism, sentiment and nepotism. There will be a highly corrupt nation if Obi becomes highly corrupt nation. If Obi becomes president, God did not speak Obi because he does not want Obi. Atiku cannot be president in 2027 and Obi will not be president in 2027. Mark my word, he concluded. Wow, wow, wow. So God told you that... There will be corruption, there will be tribalism, there will be nepotism. So what we are what we are seeing now is love, is justice, is equity. Hmm. It's corruption-free regime. That is what we are experiencing now. So invariably, because if you look at uh, the terrain now, you know that uh, the people that contested last year, 2023, uh, general elections, you know, as far as a presidential election is concerned, you see that because everybody is expecting Asiku not to even come out, but the way it is, Asiku is still really warming up just to be part of this old thing. And people are telling him, by that time, you'll be 81 or so. So let's even, him, let's even look at the old, the old thing. These are the same people that will come out. So invariably, what is a Prime Minister Ayodele saying? He's saying that Tinubu is the best person. So that means Nigerians should continue with Tinubu. So who is going to win? Is it Tinubu? <laughs> because Tinubu, as far as we know, he will want to go for the second term. So he's telling Nigerians now that Tinubu is going to win in 2027. So Tinubu is God's choice or what? Okay, he said Atiku is God's choice, but people will not uh, vote for him. Really? Congratulations to this man. Do you even need a soothsayer? Do you need to be... Everybody hears from God because God dwells in us. It is just uh, the way people are just trying to... Because some people just believe that, uh, oh, they will close their eyes. They will say, yeah, I saw God. I saw vision. This, uh, God speaks with everybody. And the way God works, it works in a different way. So with everybody God has created, anybody that God has created, people that God has created, you have the spirit of God in you. Whether you believe in Jesus, whether you believe in Muhammad, God created everybody. And... At the end of the day, God speaks through you. God has given you that wisdom to be able to understand. Nobody needs to tell you cock and boo stories. So when somebody is coming to tell you what is not, you can see what is happening. So, so now make people believe that, oh, this primate is saying the right thing. It's, 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 it's unfortunate. So this kind of reason when people hear, oh, God has said it. No, 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 God does not work in this kind of a, this kind of a thing. In this kind of environment, uh, with this kind of a uh, talk coming out from these people, oh, you don't challenge a uh, man of God. Says who? Who are they? Even God that created us, you challenge God. We say, God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? Even at that, God does not even strike us. But uh, when you begin to question this uh, mere mortar, they will not be telling you, hey, touch not my anointed. If I can question God, who are you that I cannot be able to question? But does that God, you know, just like uh, for as many of you who are Christians, if you are listening to me, if you are a Christian, you understand what I'm saying. When Jesus was to die on the cross, even with the, the, the maltreatment he was being given, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Can any of these people that call themselves Jews and whatever accept such a thing? They will be angry. How dare you touch not my anointed? If the way they talk and the way they pro, you know, they profess God or the way they, the way they talk about God, if that is how God is, I don't think anybody will be living in in this world. Though. 
That is why God is God. But these guys, they want to force. You can't force the hand of God. Any little thing, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Somebody is doing wrong Even they will even tell you, oh, the devil, touch not my, not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You will hear this kind of a thing. And they will say, oh, don't ask questions. I'm afraid. Because they always use God to threaten people. That is not how it ought to be. No, tell me. If you don't have the spirit of God in you, listen to what this man is saying. And tell me whether God is in what he said. And some people say, oh no, you are not there uh -uh, with what we are seeing. Every day they will say, pray, 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 pray. Is this the kind of prayer you want to pray that this kind of thing should continue? Where people said, no, we don't even want it. Uh, the kind of Buhari's government again. But what we are seeing now is worse. And somebody is telling you that Obi will not do this. Thank God now. I think uh, they are teaching will be a very bad, a, a bitter lesson that you will not forget. The people who are carrying the being power, being power. Well, that is my own uh, my own uh, opinion concerning what he said. Well, a lot of people they have their own uh, reservations and their own uh, contribution uh, pertaining to what uh, these primates have said. For me, this is fake prophecy, political bigotry, and tribalism. Hmm. Somebody is even saying uh, it will not be well with this man. No? Political bet Niger. Let all the lying prophets in our nation, Nigeria, be silenced forever in Jesus' mighty name. Let the voice of the sp uh, sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ swallow them up and their seed after them. Let their memories be blotted out in all generations. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. This is tribal prophecy. <laughs> Just to allow Tinubu to remain in power. My brother, it seems you are no more in touch with Holy Spirit. What happened to your prophecy of African Cup of Nations? You gave it to Nigeria, but Nigeria was trashed. Was that not enough for you to stop your frequent prophecy? Do you mean Tinubu is taking Nigeria economy higher right now? Please research and know the spirits giving you messages. And Nigeria is moving in the right direction now with your Tinubu, pastor of doom and tribalism. By your fruits, we have already known you. The honor you are tapping through lies and deceit will soon be be to an end or come to an end what have your emilio Khan brother been able to do since he became the president of nigeria that you want him to continue even in 2027 despite the unbearable situations we are facing right now because of his bad policies ma okay this one i don't want to see what this one is saying hmm. on god day on god day primate apc are your daily prophets of the is bidder Please explain the sinking for us because as you are prophesying, Nigeria has sunk already. Which sinking again, a bag of cement that was 5,003 last two weeks is being sold now for eh? 13,000 naira. Really? You are a big deceiver and the father of all liars. Leave peace or be alone or you perish in your church. That is a coming from a Donatus Ubuduizi. So guys, uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.